Hey guys, Stay Patient here, back to take a look at the third of these 12 deals of Christmas on the UK PlayStation Store here. Today we're getting Dishonored 2. This is going to run from the 5th of December through to the 7th. And it's currently on sale for $29.99. Now straight away this struck me as probably not a great deal. Um, you guys, if you did want this game, you probably would have got a better deal than this over the Black Friday sales. Or even now you'll be able to find some cheaper prices, which I have been able to do so. It's pretty close, but I know the majority of you would prefer to buy games um, retail, you know, on disc. So that you can resell them at some point if you want to. And sort of make some of your money back. So what I've done is sort of shopped around a bit for you, um, as I have been doing with each of these deals, and figured out the best places to purchase them in the UK. Now the cheapest place that I found was actually shop2.net, which are, you know, they're a very good site, uh, very good customer service and everything. Uh, they've got the basic version on sale. Um, is it on sale? Or is it just a normal price? I think it's on a sort of a, a mild sale. Um, they do have it in stock, but the price is twenty nine eighty six, so it's very slightly cheaper than the PlayStation Store. Now, I will point out that if you are buying games off the PlayStation Store, I have put up a video in the past talking about CDKeys.com, and there are other sites that you can use for this. But basically, you can get up to around 10% off your PlayStation Store purchases by buying the PSN top-up cards before making the purchase. So rather than sort of having a, uh, or using your linked credit card or bank card or whatever, you buy a top-up card beforehand for cheaper than the face value of the card, and then you use that to fund your purchase. Now, if you come to cdkeys.com and go to PSN top-up cards, and then it will give you a whole list of you know different uh, different amounts here and also different currencies it doesn't have all the sort of japanese and far eastern uh, top ups here um you know for those stores but it does have uh, the euro um obviously the british pound and i think maybe it's got dollars as well although uh, no, it's got the Swiss, I think this is mostly like European currencies, so it's got the Euro, the Pound, and the Swiss Franc here. Um, but anyway, the whole point of this, the whole point of showing you this, is that you can basically buy top-up cards for lower than the value of the card itself, so if you're going to be spending that amount of money on the PlayStation Store anyway, then you might as well do this, because you're going to be getting yourself a discount. Now all of the different cards have a different sort of percentage of discount. So um, for instance, the five pound card is four pound 99. So it's basically face value, but they, there isn't really any pattern to this quite often. Um, or, you know, for a long time, the 25 pound card, uh, which did go out of stock, that was the cheapest way of doing this. That sort of gave you the biggest discount because originally it was priced at £22.79. So the way you work out which is the best value is basically figure out what percentage you are, you know, what percentage it is uh, discounted by. Um, so I've kind of gone through that and it does change occasionally, but currently the best percentage is the £50 one, which makes sense because it's the most expensive one. So if you buy a £50 card, you get it for £46. So you're saving £4 and one pence. Um, but that's a percentage of, well, 10% is £5. So it's, I guess it's 8%, isn't it? 8% um, off. Is that right? Yes, I believe that's right. I'm tired, so maybe my maths is, my maths is out. But uh, yeah, it seems to be about 8% that you're getting off, which is a pretty good deal, really. And you may think to yourself, well, um, I don't want to spend 50 quid. But if you're ever going to need to spend money again, obviously this money just stays on your account, on your PSN account. So unless you're only ever going to spend like 20 or 30 pounds, then you might as well buy the 50 pound one uh, because at some point you're bound to be, you know, buying more games off the store and you can just continue to use the money that you've already bought. Um, anyway, so in a way, because you're getting 10% off, then the price on the store for Dishonored 2, you could say, is what would that be like? Another £2.50 off roughly. Um, but like I said, although you could get a bit more money off by buying the PSN card up front, 
I would lean towards buying retail for this one. Obviously, everyone's different. They all have different preferences. But as I mentioned, Shop2.net does have the game for $29.86. And it also has the limited edition. This is interesting. I'm not sure what else is included in the limited edition apart from the first Dishonored. So um, as you can see there, if you zoom in, Dishonored Definitive Edition included for free. Now that's a pretty good deal for another £2, you know, it's uh, only another £2 extra and you're getting the first game which comes with all the DLC, so that's a pretty cool package. I mean, you can get that game fairly cheap now anyway, It's you're not going to be spending any more than £10 on it, but £2 for one of the best games from last generation with all the DLC that ever released for it, all remastered for, you know, PS4, that's a really good deal, so I would definitely check that out. Um, Amazon also have it if we, um, I thought I had it open here already, but let's get it back up. Uh, Dishonored 2 here. Ah, look, if you take a look at this, this just goes to show how good that deal on Shop 2 is because although Dishonored 2, um, the basic version is £30 on Amazon, the limited edition is £53. That's another £23 on top, and I'm not sure how they can sort of merit uh, charging that, how they can justify it, because unless there's loads more content, I am i don't know whether maybe it comes with the season pass or something, um, but obviously uh, the, first, um, the first Dishonored, the remaster, is not worth £23, but that just goes to show what a great deal it is on Shop 2. If you do only want the basic version, let's say you already own the first Dishonored, um, then what you can do is, as I've shown as I've shown you in the previous two videos looking at these deals, you can go to flubit.com, that's F-L-U-B-I-T.com, and they will beat pretty much any Amazon price. So the basic version on Amazon here is £30, as we mentioned. So that's only like a few pence more than Shop2, and it's the same price basically as the PlayStation Store here, 30 quid. So if you were to put this price into Flubbit, they would probably beat it by anything up to around 10%. So that's going to help offset any potential discount you could get on the PlayStation Store by buying the PSN top-up card. So obviously you'll be getting the retail version for basically the same price and you'll also be able to sell it on afterwards. Um, just as another option, Tesco has it for £30. Now, I believe that the price is on tescoentertainment.com or tesco.com, whichever site you end up being linked through. Um, I believe the prices will be the same as in the store. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't really like buying games online, uh, you do want retail copies, but you'd rather pick them up in person, then obviously the majority of us live near a Tesco, they're all over the place, so you should be able to pop in as long as they've got one in stock and uh, hopefully pick one up for the same price there in your local supermarket. Oh, so there we go guys, um, there are some suggestions for places to pick up Dishonored 2. Um, I still think this is an amazing deal. If you've not got the first Dishonored, it's totally worth playing. And obviously, if you're buying Dishonored 2, then you want to kind of catch up with the story and everything anyway. So that's a really good deal. I'm surprised at that. 3186, you get the first uh, definitive edition as well as Dishonored 2. So maybe check that out. That's what I would recommend. Uh, yesterday, we spoke about, uh, not yesterday, two days ago, we spoke about Fallout 4. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is something that was pointed out to me by one of you guys. I forget uh, who it was. So I apologize for that. But um, uh, they they brought to my attention or kind of reminded me of the fact that it's bound to be getting a like game of the year or ultimate edition at some point. So they'll re-release the game as they did with Fallout 3 and New Vegas with all the DLC because all the DLC has been released now. So any moment, you know, any time, probably over the next few months or so, They'll probably re-release the game with all of the content, all included, and that will save you having to buy the very expensive season pass. So if you are looking to pick up Fallout 4, obviously, if you were going to buy it on the PlayStation Store, then you would have done so, but it wasn't the cheapest price, so I don't think any of you will have done. Um, but if you are looking out for the cheapest price, then if you're not in a rush, wait for a bit, you know, give it a bit of time, wait and see if they announce the Ultimate Edition because all the DLCs is, is pretty good, you know, it's not quite 
at the same standard as uh, Fallout 3 and New Vegas' DLC, but it's all totally worth playing and it will allow you to reach 100% of the trophies and it will be a lot cheaper than buying the game and then also buying the season pass. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they might actually give it a separate trophy set with the way trophies are going these days. Who knows, maybe you will get a, a brand new Fallout 4 trophy set from the Game of the Year edition. That's my hope anyway. <laughs> uh, but uh, there you go, guys. That's another deal of Christmas done and dusted. Not a great deal today. I'm sure most of you will agree. £30 for Dishonored 2. It is a recent game. But, you know, anything £30 or over isn't really that great an offer, especially at this time of year. So hopefully you guys can maybe make use of one of these other offers I pointed out or possibly find it even cheaper or maybe just wait a bit. If you're not in any hurry, it's bound to come down in price even more pretty soon. It'll be £25 before we know it. And then some places will start putting up sales of maybe under £20. Uh, games do tend to come down in price pretty quick. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of days for the next uh, deal. Hopefully it's something good that we can all, uh, you know, make use of. But as things are going, we haven't really been blessed with that greater deal. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath if I was you. But I'll see you then either way. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you soon. All right. Cheers.